Okay, uh, first the first domino of the Vikings offseason finally fell today. Uh, nothing has been happening. Um, usually, usually there's been at least some news of releases or new contracts or something. Nothing's happened, but today Eric Kendricks was released. Uh, so he's one of the one of the longest tenure guys. I mean, he came into that 2015 draft class, um, and you know he, he had he had a, he had a fantastic career with the Vikings. Um, you know, I believe he was an All-Pro once. He you know, was a Pro Bowler multiple times. You know, huge, huge player for many, many years. You know, his play fell off. Um, now, some of that is, you know, with all of it, you have to take into account that they were all saddled with Donatel last year. But Kendricks kind of had fallen off even before that. Um, go back to 2020. He was he was huge that year. That, te- that team makes the playoffs if they don't lose Eric Kendricks. Uh, for the last month of the season. Um, but his play fell off. This move saves over $9 million on the cap. They're still over the cap, but there's uh, there's more moves to come, trust me. He, and, and Kendricks is not going to be the only uh, long-tenured Viking big-name player to be uh, to be uh, cut or traded in the next week. I, I can promise you that. Um, but, uh, you know, you know with, with a lot of the guys on defense, it's I, I'm... Curious to see how much input Brian Flores has um, of, of who stays, who goes. Some of the, this this could be like even independent of Flores because this is just a, a big cap number that you can save right away. And you know, I don't I don't know how old Kendricks is, but he mean, he came in and draft in, in twenty fifteen, so he's he's you know he's he's an older player, you know, um, and you know, he's had some injury issues. Um, but you know, I think everybody saw it last year. He was, he looked slow a lot of, and a lot of the guys did look slow. And again, a lot of this, I, th- I think there's a, I think there's, it's, a, it's hard to quantify what, you know, how much of it was Donatel, but I think when you're talking about a guy who's, you know, you know, over 30 now, um, and it's got a lot of wear and tear and has had some injuries. Like, I think it's, it's, it's just time. Like he's, he's, he, he's a no brainer. Um, I don't know if that means that Brian Asamoah will just simply step in and be the, the the Kendricks replacement, or if it's or if that replacement is going to be out there in free agency or in the draft. Um, but uh, you know, it's sad to see him go. But he's you know this is this is we didn't have a lot of this last year. The, the off season last year, we didn't say goodbye to many many like you know long term guys that that. You know, we all became attached to over the years. I think uh, like Barr might have been about the only one, um, but uh, you know, Kendrick's ain't gonna be the only guy. Um, you know, um, you know, there's a lot of talk about Adam Thielen going, you know, and I would get rid of him. I think like Dalvin Cook might go. You know, Daniel Hunter might even go. There's gonna be a lot of guys um, who go and. And there's going to be some, some name, some some names that go that really are going to piss fans off. I mean, there's some fan. I think most for the most part, the, re- the response I saw from fan bases, you know, they pretty much understand that this is, this is kind of the business of football. Um, but there's, I think there's going to be some other guys who maybe go in, the, and the response is not going to be so favorable. But uh, yeah, so Eric Kendricks, you know, I'm sure he, uh, this won't be the end of his career. He'll 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 uh, sign somewhere else and and you know what he'll probably play okay still i don't i don't think this is a thing where he's got like nothing left in the tank he'll 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 uh, catch on somewhere and hopefully it's not a team that i hate um but uh yeah so uh that's the first uh, thing of the off season and more to come it's going to be uh it's going to be a busy next couple weeks i believe uh next week is when it's really going to get busy with with uh, like official the official start of free agency signings and there's going to be something with the quarterback that's one way or the other is going to piss off a whole lot of people and I can't wait for the for the discourse on that I just, I, I I'm addicted to the to the to the discourse on on the quarterback can't help it but uh, Eric Kendricks thanks for uh, what was it nine years nine years here or eight years whatever it was whatever the years were. Uh, thanks for the thanks for the memories, and uh, we will see you back here sometime in the future for the Ring of Honor ceremony.